Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust. I'm Psycho with 3RA Gaming, and today we're looking at the dev blog 107. They added the new benchmarks. I'm curious to see others' results. So if you're interested in sharing benchmarks, go ahead and post down in the comments below. So to do this, go to the main menu, hit F1, and type in benchmark. I'm curious to see how other people's computers compare. This is the first time we can actually settle all those Reddit discussions on performance with factual numbers and links to show exact figures of what everybody's actually getting. And it runs various different tests. It runs it with the full terrain as normal, it runs it without grass, and then it runs it without decor. Each time you can see and settle those arguments once and for all, whether the grass influences frames or whether rain makes it slower, and it is all settled in the end. And there it is. So here's my benchmark results. As you can see when the proc gen happened, it's very, very hard for computers to generate the whole map. And um, player model rebuild also. And that's typically when sleepers spawn in. Um, you get this massive frames reduction. Watching the frames, mo the player model, not too bad. And then proc gen map in each of their each of their environments, and they're all generally about the same. A lot of people were complaining about grass, and then normal. They're relatively the same between grass and decor, and it is not much of an improvement. Um, rain gives an improvement. But he was thinking because of the fog, it doesn't have to show as much depth of the generation. And then the skin mesh collider was the green part at, part at the end. And this is, you can save these and do these over and over for each build and version. And then my hardware is right here. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This has just been a cool spotlight of the benchmark. Um, my name's Psycho with 3RA Gaming. Peace.